2013 Rattler here. So last video you saw me unboxing my new Xbox One. And I said I was going to do a full review, well, a comparison with the console or the controllers. And I said both, but first off I'm going to do is, um, but first of all I say what I'm going to do next. Um, I had to set up the HDMI cable to the TV because it didn't come with like any AV outputs or a component to plug to the TV. And you also had to connect, I also had to connect the X, well, the cable box to the Xbox One. Because some, cause sometimes you need to connect your um, Xbox One to the, to the Xbox, to the cable box, I mean. <laughs> so, since the TV I, ha I have in the media room only can, only has like two HDMI ports, since it has the Blu-ray and then it has the Xbox One. We all know Xbox One is both DVD and Blu-ray player, so. So what I'm going to do today is... is let me dust this. <laughs> so I'm going to do a comparison of the controllers. Like this is the Xbox 360 controller, and this, the Xbox. Sorry about that. But I'll turn on the Xbox One. The Xbox One controller. So I'm going to do a full comparison on these two. So maybe once I'll I'll do maybe do a comparison on the consoles and then maybe a full review on Xbox One because I have to get rid of my old 360 to someone else who doesn't have a 360 maybe who doesn't want a 360 might have to get an Xbox One so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video for now and then I gotta take care of some stuff right in this room really quick so uh, yeah I'll be right back hey so um, I'm back again and right now there's Here's the Xbox 360 controller, and here's the Xbox One controller. For those of you who don't know what Xbox, maybe who never had an Xbox, or maybe all other consoles like the PlayStation 4, or the previous ones, or the or the Nintendo console. So, sorry about that. Um, so let's take a look at the, uh, the 360 controller. So I may know, or maybe you all know that, it has everything just like the original. Whoever owns the original maybe should do have a comparison of all the controllers from the first Xbox to the Xbox One. So, <clears throat> the, so I did a video one time of this. So I did two videos on the original model and I did one on the slim, both the slim and the original model. So if you go on my YouTube, you'll you'll check you'll find Xbox 360 original model and and another one with with it and the in the slim model so yeah I mentioned that there's a that the guide button is more shinier than the than the original 360 controller when it first came out the analogs the d-pad and everything's all black because this is also from the slim model I also have another one which was also black but that was also from the from the original 360's model called the elite so I don't know why can I cannot stop saying so and everything's all there, the triggers, the bumpers, the, um, call those, uh, play and charge get poured, and there's the, the battery, which, sometimes it gets annoying a lot, because since it, it gets in the way of your fingers, so, you have to take out the battery, it requires double A batteries, by the way, two double A's, so, whenever you drop it, or whenever you, we try to throw it on the side, it, it somehow turns off and ends up stopping the game, whenever you're playing a game, so, yeah. And now we're moving on to the Xbox One. So the Xbox One is similar compared to the other consoles like the like 360 and the original. So we all know that the, the original Xbox One had two buttons like right here and then it had the triggers in the top and then yeah the same buttons that had before these controllers were out. So let me now let's do the video. Now let's talk about now we're now, it's a lot better than the Xbox 360, the controller. The controller pack is not huge, it doesn't need like that, that little thing like it has on the... Twist it a little. It doesn't have a battery pack or... But it does, the Xbox One does insert two double A's since it's... It's barely like, what, like 80, 70 percentage of battery since I played. I played Gears of War last night on Xbox One, and I also took away the original 360 version to GameStop, and they only gave me 24 cents back. Like, come on, that's not enough. Alright, anyways. So a little, 
a lot of little fingerprints going on because I've been playing on it. And I'm, sorry about that. And I really like the comfortability on the analog sticks. They're not as they're not as soft like the other ones. But I heard that the 360 controls were upgraded with the D-pad with being a more more um I don't know how to say it, but yeah. I never owned one of those Chrome 360 controllers. But those 360 controls were actually the same thing like these ones now. Yeah. And the guide buttons. Let's talk about the guide buttons. The start and the back button, whatever you want to call them. So the guide button has been moved to the top. I always thought I always thought that would just be the logo for the three for the controller. And uh, the start button, um a little light here. Um, you see the, the start button is um, is that little, those lines right there, that's your start button, and those two screens are like your, um, uh, I don't know, call it the back button, whatever you want to call it. And the buttons look exactly the same, except the lettering all color, and then the, and then the buttons are black. And the D-pad is more, is much better than the 360 controller, since, since um, sorry, you have to keep... Keep doing this because or else you'll break it. Excuse me. And the triggers, um, they feel a little comfortable. I kind of like that. And the guide button is just one, just, if you press turn it, if you press and hold it, it's a, it turns on, it becomes a white, white light. And when I first saw this, I was like, how are you supposed to know which player it is? Like, player one, player two, player three, and player four. And like, kind of like the 360, it had something like that. Except when, whenever you have somebody at your home, whoever has another controller, like if you're the if you're the first player, then the first ring, the first one ring of the four will go on the on the top left. Second will go on the top right. Third, top bottom, and the fourth, well, the top. Sorry, I'm mean, excuse me. I'm the bottom right or the bottom left, which is like the third and fourth. So I don't know why Xbox. Microsoft decided not to do something like this. I'm not sure if PS4, but like I've seen a PS4 a lot, and I can't even tell if it's player one, player two, player three, player four. So yeah, so I don't know what else to say about this. So in here in the bottom, uh, that's also where you put your headset. Like whenever you want to go on Xbox Live, I don't know what that little thing right next to it is. It's like where you put your headphone jack, but I'm not sure it doesn't work on any other. Um, I don't know if it does. Uh, let me see. Does it work on this thing? Oh yeah, it does. Oh wait, you can use any other other headsets other than an Xbox Live. That's so cool. I thought it only works on anything else. Well, anyway, I guess you don't need an Xbox Live headset since um Xbox One didn't come with a headset. So yeah, this I guess you can use anything you want as long as it is. <laughs> And right in the front is also the Xbox logo, and that little little slot is your play and charge kit. Even though it's a lot smaller compared to, and compared to the 360 controller. So yeah, um, I don't know. I don't think I have anything else to say. But analog, okay, D pads fine. Buttons, triggers, bumper, the guy button. Yeah, it all looks, it all looks improved when compared to. 360, I'm so sorry, 360, but we've had our good times. <laughs> so that's all I'm going to have to do for now. So one day I'll do a full review whenever I can. And uh, I'll talk about everything else on the Xbox One for those of you who don't know what it is or what it is. So thanks for watching this and uh, see you soon. If I don't have, if I don't do it by the end of this month, Happy New Year. 2013 Rattler, out of here.